What's going on guys? It's Juliana. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Yeah. Nigga, you know that I miss a little bitch from the A. You know that you love how I move. You love my little ways. You love how that shit that I say. No, this is a little weird way to enter the camera, but I was gonna do a everyday makeup routine with me and I feel like I would have I feel like it'd be smart to start at the very beginning on like how I set my base for my makeup and stuff like that. And a good base is a clean face. So before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started in this video. So right now on my face, I just have this Noxzema. I use this, especially when I wear makeup, to like get all that out of my pores so that I'm going to sleep with a fresh face. So I did not end up washing my face last night, so I'm definitely, I hopped real quick to use my Noxzema to be able to get all that built-in makeup left over. Um, and then I also go in and I like wash this all off with a hot cloth and then I also use some Cetaphil so I just put this on so I let it sit for about like five minutes I let it like you know make my face all tingly and stuff like that and then I'm taking it out to the bathroom as I wash it off um, and I'll show you guys the products that I use like the oils and the serums and stuff like that and then I'll show you guys my makeup routine my makeup routine is super inexpensive um, it's pretty much drugstore makeup that you can use and we can get started my face off um i use a cedar full or whatever so now my face is clean but it's dry so we got to put all that stuff right back so i would like to thank good molecules for sending me a pr package inside they have four of their different um serums and i will be using three out of the four just because one is an overnight exfoliating so first i'm gonna go in with their brightening toner i cannot say that first word and i will not embarrass myself trying to say that first word then I'm going to go in with their discoloration serum. I will use that under my eyes because I do have really bad um, dark under eyes. And then lastly, I'll just put it, finish it all in with that hydrating facial oil. Here's what their brightening toner looks like. Okay, that's about enough. And I'm just gonna take this and you're gonna put it all on your skin. So I'm gonna do that. That's finished with that. So that was their brightening face toner. Also on each bottle, it tells you what can be used for um, AM or what can be used for PM. Also on the back, it has like the steps. So I cleansed my face with my Noxzema and then I went in with the um, toner and now I'm going in with the color correcting serum. Okay, this is what the serum looks like. Shake well before use, apply to cleanse skin. Ooh, put that under my eyes. Um, that's really where I have the most of my discoloration, really. Um, I'm just gonna go in my fingers and smooth that out. I also put my J roller to use, so I'm just gonna take that and um, smooth it into my skin, like so. That was their discoloration correcting serum. Pop that back in the box. Okay, so I'm now looking at the hydrating facial oil. This is just to be used at night, so I'm going to put that aside. I'll actually go with my Black Girl Sunscreen. Um, I bought this at Target. It works pretty well for me, and I use this more as a um, moisturizer than a um, sunscreen. I try to think of it that way, so I use it a lot more, because I do know that that um, Noxzema definitely dries my skin out. So like I said, again, these are very inexpensive products. Um... Because me, anything cheap, I'ma get it. All right, so for first, I prime my face. I try not to use too much of this primer. I just try to use a little bit um, where, like the hot spots where I definitely put a lot, oh wow, where I put a lot of makeup at. So like under eyes are definitely one that I put, need a lot of primer on just because I don't like how cakey it gets. But I am going to do a full face today. So all of this is definitely gonna get spread over evenly on my skin because I am doing a full face today. No special occasion, um, just felt like it. Then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Dream Radiant um, Liquid Foundation. This is in the shade 130 and um, the name is Coco. So not so much on beauty blenders. One thing about me, I'm not going to clean a beauty blender till I need to. I'm just going to buy a new one. So I'm going to do, I do like dots on my face. Not too much because I don't like, um, I want full cov coverage, but I don't want too full coverage if that makes sense 
And a little trick that I actually learned was to um, get your beauty blender um, wet just a little bit. So I spray it with spe blah, 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 blah. so I spray it with setting spray, and then I would go in. I blend down to my neck just so you can't see like the difference, like between where I started and where I stopped. So now that I have, so I have that on. Next, I'm going into my concealer. So, with my concealers, I have um, multiple, such as foundations as well. I did not show you guys this, but I do have multiple foundations. And depending on the day, depends on what I want. This is a little bit darker, um, while as this one is like just right. So, I would sometimes mix these two and it make a nice um, combination, but just depends. This one is super duper light, so I don't really use this one as much. I use that more for wigs and stuff like that. So, concealer wise, I have three different concealers. One, as you can see, is perfectly my shade, the other one's a little light, and then this one is super super duper light so I like the bright under eye so for today I'm going to go for more of a um, natural beat not really like the super bright under eye look so I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just put that under my eye oh I didn't even tell you guys what it is this is the Maybelline New York um, concealer in the shade 57 walnut and I'll tell you guys what the other ones are once I get over there. Okay. So, um, I don't stop here. I'm just going to read off the, the... This one is the NK Makeup Perfection Multi-Use Concealer Super Coverage. This is in the shade um, Camel FC PF09. Um, and then this one, again, is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 50 Cafe. So this is not too far apart. This one's 50, this one's 57. Um, I believe if I were to get like a 55, that would be perfect, perfect. But I think this one is good enough, good enough. Okay. So I also go um, here, here, a little facelift, down here, down here. And then I also go up here. Now I'm going to go in with my um, Maybelline Fit Me Cafe, and I'm gonna wipe, off, try to wipe off the excess because I don't want a lot. And I'm just gonna go straight down my nose with that. Try to keep that line super straight. Boom, and we're gonna leave that just like that, and we're done. No, I'm just kidding. So then I'm going to get into my contour. So. I'm gonna need a new contour stick, so not too much. I don't use this end. Um, I got this from Target. It is the NYX w Wonder Stick. Um, I don't use the other side, sadly. Um, and this side is actually running out because I use this thing down to the bone. So let's see, where is that brush? Where is my makeup brush? So I have my. Um, this is actually a concealer brush, but I'm using it as a contour just because it's so precise. So I'm going to take this, get a little product on there. And then I'm gonna go for my eyebrow straight down. And I probably go over it just because it did not, if I don't see it, I go over it again. And then I'm gonna go again for my eyebrow straight down. And then over that again, like so. And then I also come under my nose like this, hook it, and then right around top just like so and that is it for conceal con that's it for con um and that is it for contour so now i'm going to move into blending out my concealer so i use a different beauty blender this is a more softer one and i'm just going to go in and start with that i start with whatever's been sitting the longest which have of course is the under eye and i try to gently blend that in now we're going to move on to up here and the nose so this is when the actual contour brush itself comes into place i would take it and i'd hold it like this so like the bristles are bunched in together and then i'd go and i'd just blend that in um personally i don't like the outcome of that it just depends i definitely got makeup in my eye after i said i shouldn't so i'm gonna go with the other the actual contour brush i took off most of the product off of it and um now i'm just taking that off but i'm still learning how to do contour I'm, it's a learning process right now 
I'm now going back in with that beauty blender and just like pressing that in. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with my beauty blender again. I'm gonna start with the forehead concealer and just press that in. And then I'm gonna go in with my nose. And then I'm gonna go in with this con brush, I mean this conceal, con this beauty blender and just like try to clean anything up. So I probably doesn't look different to y'all, but I see a little difference, so that's fine with me. So after that, I'm going to, so now I'm going to go into highlighter for my nose. So the two highlighters I use, if I can find them, okay. It was right in front of me. The two highlighters I use, this one is from Sheen. It is the Sheen Fairy Wand Precision Highlighter Pencil. And then this one is from Cara Beauty, the Glow Flow Highlighter Stick. So this, I also sometimes use for um, under eye liner. But I'm, and I'm gonna do that for you guys today. So um, to pull under my eye, I use a beauty blender just so I don't get makeup on my fingers. Gonna take that and I'm just gonna go over my waterline with it. And just like so. Okay, that looks okay. Okay, so that was that. Usually I don't move like all around like this, but just cause um, I just wanna use this and be done with it. Then I'm gonna go with my nose. This one, I just take a straight, straight shot down like so. Down, up, down, up. I try to keep my line straight, but I got shaky hands, so that's not possible. I'll clean it up though. And then finally, I have my um, glow, my highlighter. So the stick actually broke out here, so it's at the top here. So I take my pinky finger and I would just tap my nose like so. And there we go. I don't leave it like that, however. I would take my um, beauty blender and I would beat that in. I beat it in a few times just because I don't want the um, makeup on there to like, um, you know whatever like blend it out too much and then i take the one on my nose and i just go in circles and just beat that out like so and of course just use my finger as well just to get that out and of course looking in the mirror and stuff like that and i think i like it uh yeah that's good enough i think the one on my nose definitely got blended out just a little too much but that's okay because i don't want i don't like super harsh highlighter anyways um but i will definitely put like a little dot on my nose again just because and then go in and blend that out just a little. So now after that, after highlight and stuff like that, I'm going to get into lashes and mascara. So the mascara I use is the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom. So I use this actually just on my under eyes, um, just cause I don't like having mascara and lashes on, cause my lashes are literally screaming for help right now. I try to be as careful as possible because I definitely would stab myself in the eye with this wand if I allowed myself to. Okay, I'm gonna put on these lashes that um, I bought from this company. I actually cut them down just a little bit just because my glasses, um, they were interfering with those. So I will definitely put them on and see if they fit. Yes, and then there's a little white inside. So with lashes, I definitely am one of those who just put it on with their fingers because I don't have time for the little clippers or whatever. Um, I put the eyelash glue on the inside like so. I saw people who put it on their um, lash line and then put the lashes on. I'm not brave enough for that. So this one goes here. As you can see, here's the white right there on it. And then I'm just going to actually look in this mirror actually. Also, I definitely would recommend shaping your lashes for your eyes, like cutting off any inner corners or whatever to help it fit better. Okay, so these are what they look like. I use more of like thinner lashes, but just because these were um, sent and I bought them, just because um, I received these, I was like, I might as well put them on for the video, y'all. But I'll have her link down below if you wanted to purchase them. So next is lips. So I'm going to go in with this jumbo. Um, it's an eye pencil, but I use it for lips. So I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna take it like up and line that side of my lip. And that's how I let it, and I can go up and around. Like so. I'm just cut under. 
and under and hook it all in together. So I would go in and clean it up if needed. This lip gloss from Link Ariway LLC. I will have them also linked down below. And I'm just gonna go in and uh -uh, like so. Then I'm going to go in with my lip therapy oil and put that on. And finally, I'm going to put in this lifter gloss from Maybelline and put that on as well. I just do a few dots just because I don't like it. Like, just like so. So, um, I don't use a setting spray just because I don't like how it makes my face look. So I would definitely just say I ended my face routine here, my um, makeup routine here. All right, guys, this is our final look. I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, I'll have everything tagged down below if you want to purchase anything. And thank you guys again so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video.